Hi, this is Petey from Bergsberg Arcade at BergsbergArcade.com and today I just want to go over quickly how to import models from, from uh, Blender 3D to Unity 3D. Now here I have the standard Suzanne head, the monkey head that you can get in Blender. Now there are two ways to import this into Unity. Uh, the easiest way is just simply save it. And the other way would be to export to an FBX. This is my preferred method. Uh, so you want to, I'll just take the selected objects. Now as far as scale and rotation goes, we're going to deal with that in Unity itself. Uh, what I wouldn't want to include, I don't want to include the empties, the camera, or the lamp. I have no armatures on this, so no point in including that. I want the mesh. I don't have any modifiers applied. We'll grab some high quality normals. I don't have any animation. It'll just simply export it. I'm going to change the name slightly just so we can tell them apart in Unity to Monkey One. We'll export it. Now we'll just hide that. Okay, so I've imported them into Unity here. Now this is our save file. And you notice when you open it up, not only does it give you the model and the mesh, but it's also going to include the camera and the lamp. Now you can easily just drag that up there to create it. Let me just change the rotation a bit. Then just delete the camera. You're going to lose your prefab. Lose your lamp. And to be quite honest, you don't even really need the monkey. You can just drag that out. There you go. But if you notice when you're looking through the camera view, if you were to target that and move it along the Z axis, you notice it's moving away from us. You really want it to be facing the camera. So let's rotate it 180 degrees. And there you go. You've imported from your saved Blender file, and you can make another prefab of this. So we'll just go create prefab uh, as soon as I find it. We'll just call it head. Drag it on there. There you go. You can even delete the old one that you have. And anytime you want to add another Suzanne head, there you go. That's one way. Now, what about, we'll get rid of the head. Now, what about the FBX import? This way here doesn't include the camera or the lamp. But you're going to have to pay a lot more attention to these, and you should be looking at them anyway. Because when you first drag it in, you're going to be looking at it going, well, I don't see anything. That's because you have to go over here and change the scale factor. Let's try oh, 0.8. Hit apply. There we go. Well, the same thing. You don't really need the monkey. You can lose your prefab. All you're really concerned about is making sure that it's still tied to this mesh, which when you click over here, I can see the mesh, the Suzanne mesh. So we'll get rid of the monkey. Let's rotate her 180 degrees. You can create your prefab the exact same way. And just simply copy her on there. And you create another prefab. Just to make sure it works. And there you go. So that's how you import Blender models into Unity. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, two different ways. Just pick the one that works the best for you. If you have any questions or tutorials that you'd like to see, just leave them in the comments below or send me an email.